day 742 being Christopher Cruz. Just got rocked. Second service. Um, I was just up, just thanking God, thanking God. And um, yeah, it's just uh, like when God says you're ready, you're ready. I've been saying I'm ready for years. I'm ready to get on stages. I'm ready to change the world. I'm ready to build this. I'm ready to build that. And thank God that God didn't allow that because it would have destroyed me. Like I didn't have the, the spiritual maturity to, to handle my destiny, to take care of my destiny, to, um, to steward it well. I, I, would have, I would have crumbled. I would have crumbled underneath the pressure. I would have, um, it would have been all about me, my pride, my ego. I would have gotten offended. I would have worshipped people's praise and, and feared their rejection on a level that would just be destructive. And so I'm just so grateful that God didn't allow me to, to step into my destiny even though I thought I was ready. And there's so many times like where I really believe this is it, this is it. You know, I've had so many conversations with my grandpa, like grandpa, this is it, this is it, this is it. And I, and I really wanted that and I really believed it. And I was like, this is it, this is it. Because I thought I was ready. And I look back on every one of those moments and it was like, it is crazy to me just how not ready I really was. How not ready. I really was and I'm just so grateful that God had the grace to to not allow it because I would have gone out there to the world and I would have led people astray and uh, it would have destroyed me and so I'm just uh, so grateful it was frustrating <laughs> you know and then I believed I was you know a failure and a loser and a all talk and you know and all those things and that was just the enemy lying to me you know God cleared that up he said you're not a failure you were just lost you don't live into your potential because you didn't have me and um, and now I have him and so so what I'm saying is like when you say you're ready it's different than when God says you're ready when God says you're ready something shifts God said I'm ready this these last three days and he used other people to tell me that I'm ready. People that I love, people that I, I've never met before, all, all sorts of people. And um, it just is a different experience when God says you're ready. It's just, it's a different level of confidence. It's a different level of certainty. It's a different level of joy. Um, I feel like it's been Christmas Eve for 35 years of my life and that feeling of anticipation and I know what's gonna happen, I know what's coming, and this is it, maybe this is it, no, oh, that wasn't it, okay, maybe this is it, oh no, that wasn't it. And that was all by my own will and my own attempt to force and, and make things happen and all of that stuff. And so <laughs> it's crazy because at the time when I thought I am less ready than I've ever been, which has been the last like two weeks, is when God said I'm ready. Like that's crazy. My confidence has never been lower. I've never been more discouraged. I've never been felt more like a failure. Um, I've never been so frustrated at people and myself. Like I've never struggled emotionally so, so aggressively like I've never been in the darkness the way that I have the last few weeks. And, and so it's just at my lowest point, God said, you're ready. And I would have never thought that. I thought like God would say, you're ready when, when I've got it all together. Like, oh, you're, you're ready, Chris, you know, 
you lost the weight, you made the money, your business is, is successful. Now it's time for you to shine. Now it's time for you to go out there. Now you're ready. You've succeeded, so now you're ready. And it's just incredible how God works. It's like the, the, the lowest point, <laughs> the most failure that I've ever felt in my life, the most insecure I've ever felt, the more my confidence has been destroyed. It was just like, that's when God tells you you're ready. Or that's when he tells me when I'm ready. <clears throat> and it's like, the confidence I have right now is greater than any confidence I've ever had because I don't have confidence in myself. I have confidence in God. And if God says you're ready, you're ready. Like, it doesn't matter. It's Godfidence, not just confidence. It's Godfidence because God knows better than anyone. So if God says you're ready, you're ready. So I just, whether I feel ready or whether I think I'm ready, doesn't matter. I know I'm ready because God said so. And, um... And I, I, I know that so, I have so much certainty in knowing that, that, you know, I'm leaving the internship, which is the biggest, most important thing in my life, but it's also my biggest comfort zone. It's also my biggest excuse of why I can't step out there to the world. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. I don't have this. I don't have that. Well, now that's gone. And now I've got God. And uh, let go, let God. So I'm, uh, oh yeah. So I'm standing up there and it just hits me. I, it's just like, Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you for not forgetting about me. Thank you for not letting me go. Thank you for pursuing me. Thank you for leading me back to you. And when I got to that, the tears just started flowing. It was just so much gratitude of God. Thank you for leading me back to you. I was so lost. I was like, I felt like the prodigal son. Like I, I went off and I did my own thing and I did whatever I wanted and whatever felt good and you know justified it with just oh follow your heart you know it's okay nothing's bad like just do whatever and I was just so fallen so fallen when when he did whatever he needed to do to bring me to him like and uh and so I'm just standing there and I'm just crying and I'm just thanking Jesus. Thank you for not giving up on me. Thank you for pursuing me. Thank you for keeping me safe. Thank you for leading me through everything you've led me through. Thank you for pulling me out of the fire. Thank you for throwing me into the fire. Thank you for cooling me down. Thank you for heating me up. Thank you for, for all of it. But the big thing was thank you for never abandoning me. Thank you for never leaving me. You've always been by my side. And I just want to give... I just want to give you the glory in front of the world, God. I just want to give you the glory in front of the world. You know, this these last three days at this event, seeing Pedro, how much he gave the glory to God was just, it was unbelievable. I've never seen anyone like that before do that. Like he just truly, the humility that he had, I mean, is just unbelievable. He Any compliments, anything, he's like, that's God, guys. That's not me. The The system that he has, the process he has. Guys, that's God. That's not me. I sat down for five or ten minutes and I asked God to, to help me with the framework and boom, he gave it to me. And I'm still learning about it. I'm still learning the depth of it. And he just gave it all to God. And it was like, that's an example. And I, I've never seen that before. I didn't even think that existed. But now I've seen the example. It's like, wow. So I was just thanking Jesus. Like, thank you. Thank you. I give you everything like yeah and then I, I also realized while I'm up there is that that he already gave me the formula for success in this world he already gave me the formula for for worldly success and also spiritual success and I need to study that formula that he gave me I went to Vegas I spoke about him I led people back to him I offered a product but more so, I, I gave my heart to people. I did, you know, 40 one-on-one -on -one calls with 40 different people, and I gave my heart to them in those calls. It wasn't like a 15-minute, oh, can you afford coaching? Nope, okay, see ya. No, it was like one to four hours per person, and I poured into them, and I loved them, whether they could pay me or not. And um, and then the, the, the money came in, and the 
the transformations and the breakthroughs and the realizations and the coachings and it was just like so that's a formula he's given me up oh, just killed the bug he's given me a formula for success and so while i'm up there he just revealed to me like i've given you a, a success formula study it because everything that you need to know to be successful in this world is in that formula everything you need to know is in that formula you've already lived it now study it because what's going to happen is you are going to help people find their purpose and they are going to need the formula for success in this world they're going to need to learn how to have massive success in this world and there's there is a secret formula in what you just lived there's a secret formula and it will work god wants us to be successful god wants us to to be rulers of the kingdom god wants us to have influence in the world and the, one of the biggest things that i learned these last three days is when you're successful you have influence when you're successful you have influence and god wants us to influence the world he wants us to disciple to nations like he wants us to be in places of influence and so he's given me this formula, not only for worldly success, but for worldly influence. And it's all there. I have everything, everything that I need, he's already given it to me. And it is, oh, I just feel so blessed. I feel so unbelievably blessed. It is crazy. Uh, I've never felt more inspired in my life. I've never felt more excited. I've never felt more motivated. I've never felt more committed. I've never felt more certain. Like, I've never just felt so sure about anything before in my life because he said, it's time. He said, you're ready. And, you know, I, I read that Bible scripture that I've had on my wall for probably six months. Yeah, probably six months. No. No probably close to let's see it's October probably close to a year close to a year probably 10 months anyway it doesn't matter it's been on my wall and uh I haven't really connected with it too much when I read it, I was like oh that's awesome but it says stand up shine your light now your time has come or now your light has come and it's time for you to shine on the world and, and nations of people and kings from other nations will be drawn to your light and they will see the glory of God on you in your life. And that hits me and I'm gonna memorize that and I'm gonna speak that over myself because it is, it is so time. And also, you know, in my mind over the last few days, there's been a lot of criticism of the church like of my church and the pastors and the system and how they do things and there's been all this criticism that has come up in my mind not like I want to criticize but it's just been like they need to do this and they don't do that and blah, 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 and how are people supposed to and then the waking up of Chris if it wasn't for this church and them doing things exactly the way that they do it you would not have been led back to God. You wouldn't be in this position. So stop criticizing and start appreciating. And it was just so much love, just so much love because they create, you know, they might not be the most like, oh my God, get on your knees, you know, healings and all this, you know, intense, you know, stuff. But they make it easier to approach God. You know, it's, it's, it's cool, it's modern, it's hip the the pastors are genuine like it's it's not you know the most organized or or well done this or well done that but it is the perfect entry level it's like the the freaking gateway drug to god it's like you know it's just like this it's a perfect entry level experience if you have no experience in god and and so it's it's perfect it is so perfect and i'm so grateful for it because if I would have gone to one of these other churches, who knows where I'd be right now. And so it is just so perfect and the internship is so perfect. And you know, I wanted to come here and change this and change that. And it's like, 
if it was different, I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't be experiencing what I'm experiencing. So there's just so much appreciation, so much gratitude, so much love. And uh, yeah, their system works because it led me back to God and I'm stubborn as, as anyone. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just so grateful. I'm so blessed. I, uh, I just, you know, I've said this is it so many times and I don't even need to say this is it because it's just going to be shown. I don't need to talk about it being it. Like God spoke and when God spoke, when God speaks, things change. So, um, yeah, I don't need to say anything else about it. I'm just going to show it. And I know God is going to use my life to show miracles and, and signs and wonders. And he's going to provide exceedingly and abundantly. And I'm going to freaking work my butt off. And I'm going to plant thousands and thousands of seeds. And I'm going to... You'll just see it in the action. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How the F are we supposed to live life without God? Wow.